dedicated for your practical examination. And your practical examination, you don't have an actual examination, like a paper will not be given. For that, you have a project. For that, you have a project. So today I'm going to give you the project and the project submission date is uh, project submission date is 28th September, right? 28th September. September this letter with you are projected to submit on morning. Uh, the project is like this. Last time I gave student to design a smart mass supermarket. So this time I'm going to give you to build a smart classroom, right? So you are, what you have to do is you have to determine about the uh, hardware, software, all the equipments, even human resource that you need to do or that is required to uh, build a smart classroom school let's say yeah you have to select a school in any area then you have to plan a smart classroom for that so when when you say it is a smart classroom you have to think about how you can arrange let's say if you are going to give tabs how you can arrange tabs if there are computer machines how you can arrange and how you are going to arrange the uh, working space, blueprint, and the plan, smart classroom, make a plan, make entrance, exit, AC machines, CCTV cameras, the sensor, Lama uh, get in Spalana register a marker and one of the other CCTV camera I can register marker. Maybe they will decide Kerala comprehensive report. Take a matter of some make a name. Take it in a way. This is the one all at a pin. Last time, correct. This one, this one is one of the best I have received last time. So uh, they were they were designed to uh, design a smart supermarket. So this is group number six, uh, and what they did, right? Uh, the project, right? So this this is the format, the acknowledgement, executive summary, then company details, company mission, then the legal uh, everything. In the table of content, they have the acknowledgement, executive summary. So take a screenshot of this. Take a screenshot of this. This is very much important. So then they started. They gave a brief idea about the project. And then the nature of the project. Then blueprint. May they have a blueprint the entrance to the end the exit to the end shells the end of the wax the end of the then I love blueprint to the end of 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 the instrument make it all of the end of the end uh, hardware, software, install, software, and then blueprint again. Hardware, computer, machines, tabs, 
मोहम्मद को जो इंस्टॉल कराने के लिए मुझे भी आते हैं मेरा भी फोन दिन प्याला रे एक ही डालते हैं सिंबल सीसीटीवी वर्ल्ड डालने के लिए सिंबल लेकर क्यूआर कैमरे के सिंबल लेकर बाउंडर स्टीन कैमरे सिंबल से सिंबल स्टीक डालने के लिए एक पास ये लोग यूज़ करते हैं हार्डवेयर बिस तरह कर रहे थे ना क्या ये लोग ना भी यूज़ करते हैं हार्डवेयर ये एक यूज़ करे वर्शन में तो मुकाद equipments then the benefits then they have built a mobile application for that so you can do the same thing like you can build a mobile application for your smart classroom and make appointment and uh, utilize the smart classroom इन रेकमेंडेशन इलाके का इस स्मार्ट क्लासरूम में तो वैरी दिन होता है ना कौन से कराएं क्या लोग रेकमेंडेशंस देंगे आई स्मार्ट क्लासरूम में का कदम ना मिलने ये इधर मिलने ये इधर मिलने हैं अदान के इलाके ये लोग ये तो कंक्लूजन कंक्लूजन ने क्या लाते हैं ना एस्टिमेटेड बजट टेक की ये दर ये वो दान है गनंग दान करती है ना प्राइस लेवल हो आगे ना दान वाला तो बजट कंस्ट्रेंस ना है क्या ने ऊपर में मिक्चरा यूज़ कराना बोला नामो मिक्चरा यूज़ कराना बोला क्या ये मेक अप ना है बोला तो बोला उच्चर गाना कुना मी यूटिलाइज़ कराना इसमें प्रश्न ह� वाट कुलवा यूटिलाइज करेंगे वह आयोग बाला ला वाश दे रे यूटिलाइज कर ला हदा ओके एनी क्वेश्चंस एनी क्वेश्चन ओ एनी Thing to clarify about this uh, project. This is not an assignment. This is a project directly. Mark some then our final exam. I like a visa. You have to work hard. Any questions? Anything that you wish to clarify? You may ask me. Question at the so do you understand the task? Do you understand the task? Yes or no? Do you understand what you have to do? Sir, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Well, at the end, me. स्मार्ट क्लासरूम में का डिजाइन करना स्मार्ट क्लासरूम में का डिजाइन करना क्या है दें अलग ही खालिंग बैच जगत दुबने स्मार्ट सुपरमार्केट टेक का डिजाइन करने एक तरह में एक चीज है मार्क्स का क्या क्या माने मैं वाके ग्रुप डिटेल्स टिक डाला इंडेक्स नाम देखा डाला इंडेक्स नाम देखा नाम रजिस्ट्रेशन नाम देखा इंडेक्स 
Is it clear the task? Give me a minute. Hello, madam. Good morning. Okay, sorry about that. Right. So, any 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 clarification? Anything you want to clarify again? Say another. You can contact. Uh, students from the 2019 batch and I get uh, get their reports if you want to like, get an idea about. And I cannot give these reports because I have marked them. But you can ask and yes, get advices from them. For further clarification, you can contact me. And uh, this is a group project, right? Each member will be getting the same mark. That the uh, group gets. So you don't have to record any presentation or prepare any presentation. This is report submission. You have to prepare a report, comprehensive report about uh, how you are going to build uh, a smart classroom for a selected school and how you are going to uh, like prepare. I don't think about the financial things. I mean, how you raise funds, everything, but you have to give me a budget. I mean, how, how much will the cost be? Likewise, the budget, the total cost, that is important. And talking about that, uh, I have received your last assignment responses, but I ask you guys to upload the presentation and the video board. Some groups, right, only uploaded the video. Right? And here, yes, some group only uploaded video. I told you, I asked you to upload it uh, as a zip file. Some of you guys uploaded into Google Drive and share and other stupid things. Right? But I just ignore all those things. Uh, for an example, group number for example, group number six only uploaded the present uh, video. Right? Then I haven't unzipped the other zip folders. Right? I'm gonna check them as well. Right? I'm giving you a warning, right? If you haven't uploaded both video and the presentation, right? please email me the presentation, right? Today itself. Otherwise, how am I going to mark? And group number 17 also only uploaded the video. I did, I couldn't found the presentation. Okay. Take this assignment series because they are they are like considered to give you the final marks. Okay, okay, we will start where we left last week, right? So we, we so you guys have to uh, exercises to be completed. Now you can upload them. 
Hmm? I will check them. Then recovery from a deadlock. This is where we are going to start today's part. Right? Today we are going to learn about. I think I hope the assignment is assignment and the project is clear. Right? So if you have any further clarifications, you can contact me and ask. It is a group project and you don't uh, you have to form different groups. Use the same 17 groups I created for so your uh, that infrastructure issue assignment. Use the same groups, no issue. And in the report, in the report, a photograph of the member with name, registration number, index number, and the signature should be there in the report. Right? You don't have to submit printed materials, right? Only the soft copy is enough. PDF, right? Not word document. PDF is enough. Right. We will uh, we will uh, continue where we left last week. So yes, recover from a deadlock. Right? So to recover from the deadlock, right? We can do several things. The first one is the preemption. Right? We can take the resources from some other processes, right? So so if it is a possibility, if there's a possibility, we can kill less important processes and take the uh, take those resources to our most important projects. Processes, not the project. Okay. But the thing is, we can't do it for all the resources, right? Because there are non preemption constraints, right? Depend on the type of resources. So it actually depends on the type of resources. If it is preemptible, yes, we can take them and assign to another process. If it is not preemptible, there's no way of doing that preemption. Okay, then the second strategy we can use is the rollback. The rollback. Rollback is where you can uh, like install or use checkpoints process periodically. So you like assemble, let's say, uh, assemble or like establish checkpoint processes periodically and you check them whether there is a deadlock, is there a threat of a deadlock, like that. Save the state of the checkpoint, right? Each time, right? You uh, in the checkpoint, you check whether there is a deadlock or not, or there is a potential probability of having a deadlock. If there is, yes or no, you save the records of the deadlock. Then restart the process from the uh, latest running checkpoint. So if there is a deadlock, so you kill the process and restart it, right, at a uh, like reasonable time. Then we can avoid the deadlock or recover from the deadlock then, right? In other words, go back in time to work, to a working step. So we go back and start the process again. Or uh, if all the, uh, all these uh, given strategies are not working, you are left only with nothing but killing the process. Right? Simply, or the simplest way to recover from deadlock is to kill a particular process, then Mugakar process can now the Puga Manika resource leaves on the other side of the other side of the other side. But sometimes we have to think about it before killing the process. We have to think and determine which process we are going to kill. And kill one of the processes in the deadlock cycle so that we will allow to run the process because circular waiting condition will be proper. And Others will get their resources. Then, how to choose the process? Choose a process that can return from the beginning. Uh, that is very, very much important. Right? Please remember, right? If you are going to kill a process, make sure that that process, the particular process you are going to kill, can be 
started or rerun from the beginning. Mula ini dah run kerana tu dah proses sekarang balal lagi kerana, mula ini dah run kerana beri nang tu teh kiri kerana, ni, ni, and we have like discussed about two approaches, right? Two approaches. What are then the first approach is the ostrich algorithm, right? The second approach is the detection and recovery. And then the third approach is deadlock avoidance. We are going to avoid, right? Instead of detecting and recovery from deadlocks, try to avoid them. What you have to do, you avoid the deadlock. Is there an algorithm to avoid the deadlock? The question is, is there any possibility that we can avoid the deadlock? Yes, but need enough information. Yes, of course. Right? We have a mechanism to avoid the deadlock, but we need some uh, information such as maximum number of resources required for a particular process and the current allocation and the uh, uh, like remain right so to avoid the deadlock we have another algorithm called banker's algorithm introduced by Dijkstra right Dijkstra is the person who introduced the banker's algorithm where we can avoid Deadlock, right? Avoid deadlock. So normally, this banker's algorithm is based on how a bank handles credit to its customers. You know that, right? So normally, what bank does is, right? What banks do is they take savings from customers, and on the other hand, those money will be given to the customer. At some other customers as credits, and some small amount of them will be saved in the central bank. Right? The same method will be used to uh, avoid deadlocks. But uh, in the uh, in bankers algorithm, we have to make sure that whether the particular system is in a safe state with the, a particular or given uh, system in a safe state. What is a safe state? Safe state is where the system is not in a deadlock. System make a deadlock is not in a deadlock. Safe state. Uh, there exist a sequence of states that lead to a lead to all Processes getting the required resources, right? Right. So you can remember in this year we identified there is whether there is a deadlock or not, and then we identified the sequence. Likewise, here we identified the sequence. Right. See here, here these are the processes. Right? We have four processes. Right. This is the maximum number of resources requested by each process in order to complete the process. Right. Let's say this is only one resource, right? And this is where, right, the maximum number of resources available in the given resource. The Latin resource. Okay, maximum. Available resource data tamamit. Right? Now what we are going to do is we are going to use this 10 in order to right uh, serve these processes. Then we determine what to run first. Okay. Does not have enough resources to cater all requests at once. Agree or not? After me, processes after that time, one part resources to deal with, deal with, deal with, deal with. Yeah, one will have process after that complete. Can I put another one? Parallel, run, run.
Alamat. Can we do that? Can or can't? May process of make a parameter and put on. Eta Hayag Dila, Beta Pahag Dila, Sita Hadag Dila, Dita Hadag Dila, Kamila, and Ankala, you reckon and put on there? Can't. Yes, we can't. Why? Because we only have 10 resources. Therefore, not all of them will request at once. So they are not requesting at once. So we actually, even though if they requested at once, we cannot give or we cannot fulfill or we cannot address those requests because of the resource limitation, scarcity. You know, right? In you have learned of them, right? The scarcity. Because of that, we cannot give all the resources. Right? We don't have all the resources. Processors, on the other hand, request resources. But here, uh, in the system, uh, we have only limited. Therefore, we have to cooperate and share. Right? So, we are considering about a safe state. There are a sequence of states that would satisfy all the requests. Yes, of course, according to a sequence, we can mm, satisfy all the requests, right? Okay. What about the state? Okay, same. One note. Yeah, we will, we will first. Okay, you can see 10 resources are free. None of them were allocated before. Then simply we can first run A, then finish the process. Secondly, run B, then finish the process. Thirdly, run C, finish the process. And finally, eventually we run D and finish the process. This is the resource that we can allocate in the Lamai. Resource the high and the Mukadi Kila Balabali in Namulim A run Kerano, I cure now B run Kerna, I cure now C run Kerano, I cure now D run Kerano, more unparalleled to give a letter, particular, make a Kerano. Now we are going, uh, going to another like uh, complex one. Complex, right? Okay, now C. Payala Mudala Maina. Okay. Then we are going to make a safe state. Safe state is a safe state. Sequence processes of Kumar and Kerala to the Kilabalan. But you can make a safe state ticket at the end. Make a safe state and free the guy in a used picture at the maximum picture and four. Yes, anyone? Tell me whether it is in a safe state or not. Yes, any answer? Is it in a safe state or not?
Yes, your answer. Yes, is it in a safe state? Yes. Okay, one said yes. What about others? Let's see. Okay, we have only two, right? We have only two, right? Then we have to cooperate with these two resources, right? In order to fulfill, right? Okay, let's see. Already one is used. If I give, if we give two resources, right? It will be three resources, but maximumly need six. We cannot run. Process one, so no. For the process B, it is the same, so no. But in the process C, if we give these two resources to process C, right? It there will be it will be four, and then it is needed only four resources. Yes, we can first run the process C. Right? Then, right? The process D, right? Already have four free resources too. It will only add up to six. No, we can't run the okay. First, we will run C. Once the C is finished, right? How many resources will be available? Four resources will be available. Then we can run either B or D. Let's say we run D. Secondly, we run D and then we have to give only three resources. Then the seven will be there. At the end, we will have eight resources. Then we will run what? Then we will run D by giving four, right? So four left and at the end, nine resources will be released. And then we run A by giving five. So at the end, 10 resources will be released. All the resources will be released. Yes. This is in a safe state. Okay. First, we choose to run C. And then we will cater other three in a sequence manner once the uh, resources are released. So yes, this is in a safe state. That is how you determine whether a given uh, system is in a safe state or not. Okay, now tell me, right? So this is your exercise. 
calculate it, I will give you only two minutes, right? Until 11.22, right? Tell me whether this is in a safe state or not. Right? Don't, uh, yeah, you, you take your answers with you, I will ask, right? Calculate it. Just is it in a safe state? Yes or no? Is it in a safe state? What is your answer? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Right. Let's see whether it is in a safe state or not. Okay. 
Okay, there are three processors. Process A, B, and C. Process A, B, and C. They are they are requesting resources, right? And the problem is. Right. Well, in, within the system, there are only 10 resources and the 10 resources can't be allocated at once, at once. So therefore, we have to allocate them in a sequence. Now, if we can allocate them in a sequence without facing, without facing a, let's say, deadlock, Yes, it is in a safe state, right? So yes, we will go through one by one as before, right? As before, can we run process A? We have only three free resources. Already three resources are allocated to process A. If we give that remaining three resources to A process, it will add up to six six resources but the problem is that a is requesting nine resources in order to complete the process so yes it end up with still scarcity so therefore we cannot run a at the first time then we will move on to the second process which is process b process b is currently allocated with how many? Two resources. In order to complete it, in order to complete it, it is requested how many resources? It is requested four resources. Simply what we can do is we can check the check that availability with uh, given number of free resources. How many free resources are there? Three. Okay, already allocated how many? Two. Three plus two it is five, uh, which means yes, yes. We can give the requested resources to that process B. How many resources we have to give? Only two, right? Then two will be given and it will be a sum up to a four. Here's the process B can be finished, completed. Right? At the end, five resources will be released. Why is that? We give two resources to this. The remaining is one. We give two resources to this. And we are left with here one and here four. Once this is completed, four resources will be added to this three. Okay, then five free resources, right? Then we have to go again. Can we give this five resources to A? Yes, we can, but it will only make eight, but it needs nine. So we are not going five to A. Then we are going for the third process, which is C. What we can do, we give this file to C. It will add up to seven and here free resource is zero. And the process C is done. One in one C is done. Seven free resources will be there. And that from that seven, six will be given to this and we will complete this process. Yes, this is in a safe state, right? Here. That is how we model it. Then, in this state, right, the previous state, this is the previous example, right? This is the previous one, exact one. A request from another two units are this A requests another two units. 
I mean here not maximum nine, it is maximum eleven. It comes to a process where maximum eleven should be provided in order to complete the process. Now tell me, should we allow that? Should we allow that? Can we allow A to have another two resources or request to another two resources? Can't. We can't. Why? Maximumly we have 10 resources. If a particular resource is re uh, process requesting more than that, sorry, we can't allow. Why? We have to, uh, uh, let's say, cope up with the maximum available resources. Right? We cannot, by any chance, exceed, exceed the maximum resources within the system. Yes? The same applies here. You can't. Okay. Therefore, we are not going to allow that request. Good. Then, safe and unsafe states. So, we have identified two types of states. What are them? Safe and unsafe states. Unsafe states are not necessarily deadlocked. With the luck, all process may complete, but no guarantee. Sometimes unsafe states are there, uh, but end, end, end up with like complete performance. But the thing is, there's no guarantee for that. Okay. Safe states guarantee we will eventually complete all the processes. Safe state take in the one after guarantee on a key and upon kisi right? Make a very well the Ohama process. Some process may have to wait for some time, but the thing is, a rapid calling to over the sequence second run when in the some processes may have to wait few, uh, let's say, minutes, seconds in order to get the resources. Deadlock avoidance algorithm only grant requests that result in safe state. Deadlock avoid current algorithm make the resource request grant current but they save state taking on a bit rather than with an A now they got killed on a thin in it. Thin in it. Open the save state taking with the analysis. So we from that right we make sure we have enough resources to create the maximum demand for demand of at least one process. It can be resource willing, complete karagana, fulfill karagana pula maximum demand dekata bittara ya be resources allocate karagana. So guaranteeing a safe state means that check if there are enough resources to satisfy the process uh, closest to its maximum request. If yes, if resource available, we allocate, which is in a safe state, right? If there are no resources available, no, we don't allocate, right? So again, right, if we allocate, safe, create, safe state created will be unsafe if we allocate them. And also if we don't have resources, it is not in a safe state. So, Normally, bankers' algorithm keeps the system in a safe. Bankers' algorithm is all about keeping the system in a safe state all the time, right? Bankers' algorithm for multiple resources is like this, right? Here, this is the resource assigned.
And here, this is the resource still needed. Right? With that, you can build these three. <coughs> With that, you can build these three. But what three? You can get the existed system here. This is the maximum. And allocated to process, you can simply add up these columns and arrive with this. And available, you get this, you deduct from this, you get this one, allocate, available. Then again, as the same methodology we use, as the same methodology we use, you can go one by one processors and identify which process to run first and then allocate the resources. If we can allocate the resources, yes, we, it is in a safe state. If we can't, it's not in a safe state. So I'm not going to explain you how you can allocate resources because I have already uh, told it to you. Right? Then, Then it is asking, right? B and E processors requesting more scanners for each one. Here one, here one. Additional. Here this come two and this come two. Should we allow this? You can think. How we can think if those requests can be fulfilled with no deadlock, just we allow. If we can't, no, we don't allow. Right? Okay. So banker's algorithm, in, uh, in the banker's algorithm, right, there are some practical issues arise from the banker's algorithm. The algorithm requires the knowledge of required resources. That is the main problem. What are the maximum available resources? how many resources should be allocated for a particular process in order to like complete it, right? What are the available resources? Yes, in an exercise like this, we do have those details, but in a practical scenario, let's say in a system, we can't find those details. We can't find those details. So, that is a practical problem. That is a practical problem we face, right? All the all the required the required resources are not available. All the required resources are not available sometimes. Therefore, safe state. For unsafe state, we cannot determine because we don't know the particular requirements, the total number of requirements. Right? It is difficult, sometimes impossible, to know this in advance. Right? Required resources might sometimes change in accordance with the situations, and also processes are created dynamically. Right? Not like this at the first theorem of polling here, but I did process ticker A, B, C, D, Kela. Right? Process neither the Aditama, the Mareva created any. Therefore, we can't. Right? Okay. So, we have to prevent deadlocks. I mean, if we are to prevent deadlocks, right? We have to think about the conditions of deadlocks. We have to think about the condition of deadlock. What are the conditions of a deadlock? If a deadlock to be like happen, what are the conditions could be there? Mutual exclusion should be there. I mean, uh, the resources are mutually used. And then 
hold and wait condition. I mean, one process is holding a particular resource and request for another resource. Then non-preemption, we cannot take resources back once they are allocated without killing the process and circular wait, you know. If we try to remove those conditions arising from the system, then we can successfully prevent deadlocks happening. Right? The first one, removing the mutual exclusion. Right? Possible for some resources and some access patterns. Right? So we can use some access patterns. Like for an example, reading a right? shared file likewise. But it is not feasible in general. Some operations and devices are not shareable by nature. But some operations and some devices we cannot share. For an example, while I can PC get a galatin and it work control a card again, I see a network card in a katagana or ticket in Gala and a katagana on the current to one there. In nature, they are not, but in a safe state. Oh, not a safe state actually. In nature, we can't like uh, share them with each other. Okay. Then the second one. Removing hold and wait. Hold and wait, but it is one process hold a particular resource and wait for another resource which is already allocated to a process. All processes must request resources before starting. If running a process never has to wait for another or wait for what it needed. process system That was what we have to do. We just uh, like get their request. How many resources do you need? How many resources do you need? Like likewise, we ask from each process and then determine what to run first. Issue is might not be possible to know all the required resources at the start. But the thing is, yes, again, at the start, sometimes we cannot. Determine how many resources are needed and how many resources are not needed. Right? Therefore, again, it is potentially problematic. Right? Then, over commitment of resources is also there. Therefore, yes, it is hard. The other option is process must give all its resources if it wants to uh, wait for another. Then, request all immediately prone for a starvation, so which means like. Other process has to wait, that is called start. Then remo removing no preemption, right? Not feasible for all the resources. Yes, right? We cannot like think our atomy process in Kerala, in Kerala, and never again. Preempt the printer halfway through a job. So we cannot preempt that. We have to wait until it is finished. Printing allocate it to another process. No, we can't. The last one is removing the circular weight, right? So yes, uh, we can like order the resources that we can like here. Yeah. We change the order first. We wait for two file here. It is on one, then we will run two. One. So we don't have to wait. Okay. So we use printer one and plot a two. Like this. We don't have to like go and thoroughly understand those things. Deadlock without resources sometimes, right? You do not need resources to cause a deadlock. Yeah, sometimes you do not need to, do not particularly need resources for a deadlock. Resources, the deadlock, 
given a pull on, right? For example, two processes can can wait for a message from another process. That may be the most resources of the end. See, right? The end. अबे प्रोसेस से कर अंत कर अंत बे अनेक प्रोसेस से के एक इन प्रोसेस से के बी के ना प्रोसेस से कटा मैसेज जग का के नॉन है बी के ना प्रोसेस से के ये एक इन प्रोसेस से करा मैसेज जग के ना ए तीन है ना बी तीन है बी के अप्रूवल लेकिन ना तो ए रन में ना बे बी कंप्लीट वेल आई नॉन ए रन में ना ए के अप्रूवल लेकिन ना � Call like a caragon, we are the NNA, 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 Then we will be talking about the starvation at the end, right? At the end, we will talk about this starvation thing, right? Overall system make process, but one or more processes does not make any progress. So those progress, right? When the, when the overall system is running, some processes has to wait until some processes completed. So those processes who are waiting and waiting for an, another process to be completed, those processes are in starvation. Example, resource allocation policy allocate resources for the shortest job and then the longest job has to wait. Larger job will not make any progress if there are lots of short jobs. ियम <laughs> so starvation is simply waiting and right? starvation is simply waiting okay that is the end of deadlocks right you can learn more about deadlock here by using this reference this reference by using this reference you can search more this is freely available in on the internet you can download it okay any question any question from the deadlock deadlock is very much important right to understand that deadlocks are related to what deadlocks are related to uh, operating systems right operating system always handle the Deadlocks. Any questions? Is there anything that you wish to clarify? Yes. Okay. 
So now your project is given, the final project, and you have Tuesday morning and Thursday morning, two, I mean four hours for your project because hence it is uh, your practical examination, right? 20 marks directly giving, given to you, right? The, the, I'm uh, like again reminding you the project should be submitted on 28 September, 28 September before 11.59 p.m. Right, I will make the arrangements in the LMS to submit your report. The PDF version only, right? The PDF version only should be submitted to the LMS and make sure that the group, the photograph of the group members, I mean individual photograph, then the name, registration number, index number, and the signature of each member should be in the report and no hard copies should be submitted, only the soft copy and PDF figure. Sometimes you might be in the university, sometimes you might not, but I don't care whether you are in the university or not. You have to submit the PDF, university key university key that will love but hard copies of PDF tama submit no. And also submit your exercise today to the LMS. You have until uh, 11.59 p.m. Right, so submit it to the LMS. Today itself, marks will be given. So your assignments are over now. Now you are doing your practical, right? Then at the examination, you only have a theory paper for 60 marks, right? Now you have already completed 20 marks for your CAT. And by the end of this September 28th, you will be completing your practical marks, 20, and then you have only 60 marks. While exam, you can pass the exam. 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 Theory paper. Right? You can pass the exam. Okay. Any questions? Right. Since you don't have any question, we will wind up today's session, right? And uh, yes, you don't have lectures tomorrow because you are given that time also for your project, right? And from tomorrow onward, Hammer Group became a leader. Mata, even known a item then. I am a Dulamar lectures in Mata Haritam Dulamar with the one known group members. La Zoom meeting link at Kadagana, right? Initial discuss kala matter attendance evan on attendance from the one name right attendance evan name group number them registration number to them table like it was yatting down no other one of the meeting make a discuss for again hit in the September this year to when I can make a ticket to make a turn on the matter attendance sheet here can have a kind they can't you know how can you know can I email Karana? Yes, email. Any questions? Any questions? Word now email Karana PDF email Karana. Get up with another one. private Zoom account links Oh, yes, any question? Okay, then, since you don't have any question, please do remember that the deadline will not be extended at any, let's say, reason. There won't be. We see attend the submit in the zero marks, right? In the MRM, we don't submit the deadline. Okay, thank you very much for your participation. Have a great rest of the day, and now you can leave the meeting. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir.